Yeah, this is Johnny Grew from OnManTraining.com. I want to talk real quick about role models. There's one reason why society's crumbling is because we lack role models in society. There used to be role models. You know, police were actually role models at one time, but society fucked that up and vilified the police. Firemen were also looked at as role models. Maybe a football coach, school teacher, neighbor next door. I do know that when I was growing up, you didn't give adults any mouth or you might get your ass kicked. And if you did get your ass kicked and they knew your parents, they took you home and you'd get your ass kicked by them too. That wasn't tolerated. Wasn't tolerating. You weren't getting, you weren't going to yell at teachers. You weren't going to treat them like shit. You'd go home and get your ass kicked. That's why kids didn't go home and tell their parents that they got in trouble in school because they'd get their ass kicked. So today, who do kids idolize? They idolize football players, baseball players, basketball players, rappers, celebrities, criminals. They, 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 they idolize people that should never be role models. I mean, you, got, you, you let your kid wear the jersey of another man's name who's been in and out of jail just because he's an athlete. You will wear, the dad will wear the jersey of another man on, the, on your back. It makes no sense to me. Obviously, you're not a good enough role model. Because if you're, if you're wearing your jersey with another man's name on the back, you're probably sitting in front of the TV all weekend, drinking beer, eating junk food, getting fat, showing your son how he's going to grow up. So, you know, when, when you see these things and somebody like me who calls people out, I'm the bad guy. I'm the bad guy because I call it out. Role models come in all different areas. You know, it could have been the neighbor down the street that was your role model. You know, somebody that taught you something that you never forgot. These people that have the biggest Twitter followers, they don't teach you nothing. Most of them are, most of them are idiots. They've just got some kind of name out there and, you're gonna, and people follow them like idiots. I can't figure out how parents today think they're role models when they're overweight, they're unemployed, they're constantly boozing, they're constantly making excuses, being called, they, they, they're crying out they're victims. How can these parents today be considered as role models? But somebody like me, who calls out people like that, the victims, the excuse makers, the troublemakers, the drug addicts, the alcoholics, I'm a bad guy because I notice it. It doesn't matter what people think. You know, you need to know how you're going to live your life. I know for a fact, the way I live my life, my kids are okay. My grandkids are going to be okay. The people I work with, I get respect. Okay, I've been, I've been living my life like this for a quite a long time. But the thing is, when you, don't, when you call people out on bullshit, you call people out on excuses, you, call, you hold people accountable, you're a bad guy. Because you're not allowed to hold anybody accountable anymore. You're not allowed to do that. Because it's just fine if you're a fucking drunk or a drug addict. You can still be a good parent. No, you can't. People today, you just look around, you can tell. Just, just watch the way they live their lives. Society has crumbled because we don't have role models anymore. We just don't have them. We accuse everybody of everything for whatever reason because it makes people feel better. When we started losing role models, society started crumbling. There was a time when the neighbor up the street, if you fucked up, he'd kick your ass, take you home, and you'd get your ass kicked again. You just didn't give teachers a, a bunch of lip. You didn't give the police any lip. You just didn't do that. Because you, you kind of respected these people. That's the way you were brought up. People today don't respect anybody. They respect no one. Very rarely is anybody respecting anybody anymore. And that's why... People are the way they are. See, if I don't accept gay lifestyle, or I don't accept the transgender lifestyle, I'm doing my family some kind of injustice by not exposing them to what I feel is absolutely insane. That's not the way I live my life. I don't want my kids living that life. I don't want my grandchildren living that life. Does that make me a bad person? No. It makes me a sane person. Hopefully my kids won't grow up with mental illness like most of the kids today. See, my kids are millennials, four of them. 
They're millennials. Well, they were raised by me. There's a lot of tough love in my house. But you know what? They're all straightened out, raising families of their own. They're doing quite okay. That's hard to believe for somebody like me. It's hard to believe somebody like me who holds them accountable, who won't accept their excuses, who don't give them sympathy, who don't congratulate them when they do the things they're supposed to do. Hey, man, you don't, you don't congratulate a fish for swimming. Don't bring me home a fifth-place trophy. I don't want to see it. Don't bring me a participation trophy. Is it harsh? No. When I went to school, it was first, second, and third. Everybody else got nothing. And nobody was, nobody was shooting up any schools. Nobody was offing themselves in the park. No, nobody was doing that. For some reason, we soften society. The moment they get criticized, they lose their mind. A lot of it has to do by taking the role models out of our lives. We no longer have people that are strong in our lives. We can't find them. They're gone. The ones that were strong are dead. No one's looking to role models, the, the, the good, strong people, people that are raised in strong families, people that are doing good things. No, nope, they're not looking at that. They're looking at the fucking millionaire football player who just got caught for drug charges or the rapper who just went out there and had a fucking firefight with uh, one of his homies. That's the problem. So maybe, maybe we should start looking at ourselves as parents, as role models. And then maybe society will start coming back around later.